Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss with you about the multivariable function. But uh, before going ahead, uh, let's uh, recall uh, till now you are dealing with only function of one variable. And if I say how do we write down function of one variable, you always write y equals to f of x, y. That is a notation for function of one variable. Here I mean to say when I have a one independent variable and the corresponding one dependent variable in one input, one output. And if I want to write down the function of two variable, how it's written as x and y, I'll select as a two independent variable and the corresponding dependent variable called z here. And if I want to write three variable function, it can be written as f function of x, y, z. And that is if I want to write down the output or the dependent variable, let's say w. So uh, in this way, we can talk about the function of n number of variables. So here if I say what is the n number of variables, I call it a x1, I'll call x2 the second variable and the last one is xn and for that I want to represent this y by one output and that output may be say y here. So um, this is an expression for function of mathematical expression for function of variables the first one is talking about here it is a one independent or one input and uh, second is talking about there are two independent variable or you can say two inputs the third one is three independent variable or three inputs and you're getting the corresponding output over here and uh, in the current video i am going to restrict i'm only restricting myself to the function of two variables here and uh, we will only talk about the two terms. One is the domain and range. But before proceeding ahead, I would like to uh, see some how we see the functions. Let's say here I have picked some functions. Uh, z is equal to 1 upon x square plus y square. Z is equal to x plus y. Third one is z is equal to 1 upon x square minus y. So in this way, we can see a number of functions wherein you observe when there are two variables in an expression and you are calling it as a equals to something else so it means you are dealing with a two variable expression two variable function and uh, in the same manner if you want to read uh, you want to write some uh, function of three variables so here w is equals to x square plus y square is one of the examples second is x into y into z z i have taken and the third one i have taken one upon x minus y plus z so these are some uh, example where you can see this is talking about the function of three variable and as i have told you that my uh, current discussion would be on the two variable and one domain and range so if i uh, let me see it again so here uh, what you are observing that i am calling the function by f and it is from r cross r to r it means i am saying uh, when I pick two variable x and y from r cross r and calling it as f of x y I got a real num variable and that is r z. So here x and y are part of r square and z is part of r and x and y are known as independent variables or you can call it the inputs and z is an output or it is also known as dependent variable. Now further, um, if you want to find out domain and range of the function of the two variables, so what do we do for that? Uh, if you are having a function and you want to find out what kind of inputs I can entertain over there, for that uh, we have to be careful that we'll select those x and y from r square where f x y is defined. If it is not defined over there, we have to exclude it and rest of the uh, any uh, part of r square become the domain of the function and if, if you are given that select from r square and for that corresponding x and y variable uh, you you are calling z is equals to function of x and y so that z is dependent upon these selections so whatever uh, pairs you are selecting from here from the t uh, you are getting the z out of it and that z is known as range of the function now uh, we we are going to uh, find out range and domain with some examples Let's say um, I am taking the first example here. Uh, let's say first example is I want to find out range and uh, domain of this function. This function, function of two variable. And that function I am taking right now is under root of x square plus y square. Now here 
you see that it's a root function and for root function the expression inside the root x square plus y square should be positive or zero so since it is square y is square and you are adding to positive quantity it will always be positive never be always positive so here uh, for all the values of uh, x and y it is always positive so domain can be whole real uh, r cross r so why because x square plus y square is always positive right it will never get negative value when x and y both are zero i get a zero out of it now uh, since it is a square root of a positive quantity and what kind of output i'll get whatever value will give you over here for x and y for when both are zero you get a zero otherwise you get a positive value so the range is including zero to infinity means all positive or you can say all positive real numbers right so uh, this way we can find out the range in domain i would like to share one more example uh, let's say the example number two example number two i'm taking here um, z is equals to one upon x square minus y square now uh, you say this is a rational expression and in a rest rational expression we have to be careful that our denominator function should not get zero so in the denominator i have x square minus y square so for the domain i have to be careful that x square minus y square should not equals to zero or i would say x square should not equals to y square yes or i can say x is or y is not equals to plus minus y or y is not equals to or you can write in any way there's no no hard and fast rule to write that you can write y is equals to not equals to plus minus x y because um otherwise square of a negative and a square of positive entry is always same so square should not be equal so negative positive values are there so in this case my i've gotten a domain that i can entertain i can entertain here what is the domain domain is x y from r cross r or you can say r square and here y should not equal to plus or minus of x our rest of the entry are having no trouble one more example i'm going to wind up with the third example here third example i'm taking i want to find the range domain of this next function which is function of two variable you can write x y or not but i'm more interested what is my function so next function I'm taking here is 1 minus x square minus y square. Now again, it is a root function I have picked. So for that, what is domain? For domain, I, uh, domain is that this 1 minus x square minus y square should always be greater than or equals to 0. Or I can say uh, 1 is always greater than or equals to x square plus y square in other way I, I should write like that x square plus y square is always less than equals to one so it's a region it's you must be observing that x square plus y square equals to one is representing a circle and you are talking about all the x all the pair which is also less than so it is a disk so domain is a what is domain domain is equals to l call domain is equals to x comma y part of r square such that x square plus y square is always less than or equals to 1. So that become my domain.